Hi guys, it's Mike. Welcome back for a bit more Space Engineers. Yeah, exciting things going on in Space Engineers at the moment. Planets and oxygen. Wow. The oxygen, yeah, I really want that. Just so that I don't have to bother. I mean, people say, why? Why do you want oxygen? What purpose, you know? But I think that while you're in an oxygenating area, you don't need to charge your suit. In other words, you can walk around the space station all day, build inside a ship's hangar, and generally do stuff, you know, without the need to recharge. You only need to recharge your suit when you actually go outside. So, yeah, we had to leave that asteroid behind, by the way. There's not a lot there, but um, iron, a bit of nickel, a little bit of platinum, I think we got, gold some uranium, it had a lot of things but what it didn't have was magnesium and you know we need magnesium, magnesium is our lifeblood I'm just going to go for targeting the meteors because we're moving it should be fairly angled towards the sun sun, where are you sun? Come to me. And what we'll do is we'll do the old sundial trick. And get a decent shadow. There you go. Find something sticking up like an antenna or something. Just do a bit of angling on that. Perfect timing. Yeah, I want to check that out up there. See if there's any magnesium there and this down here. Yeah, lots of new ships. So at least we won't be in danger of finding the bloody cookie monster over and over and over. Well, something just spawned in. Unless that was a background lag spike. That is one gnarly looking asteroid. Don't know if it's capable of stopping anything from hitting us. Is there anything to it? But all I know is if it's got no magnesium, we're moving on. Yeah, planets and oxygen, eh? Planets, yeah, I can live with planets. But they said they may even be uh, up to a hundred kilometers big with grass and trees and my god. Can you imagine it? We'll become planet engineers. Got some uranium, silver, silicon. Any magnesium. I think we're going to shelter here for a minute anyway. Need something just to keep the meteors off our back for a bit. And we don't have any silver, so I'm not going to say no. Yeah, it's a really chewed up looking asteroid. I mean, I'd be happy to just find um, the odd planetoid, you know, like just something maybe a few kilometers across that I can... God, is there anything left of this? It's like a slow-mo explosion. Damn. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll pause recording and um, I'll get a little bit of silicon and art, silicon and silver, and then uh, yeah, we'll get on our merry way again. 
select another likely candidate. This needs something big. There are out there, I've seen big asteroids. You know, I've seen some really huge asteroids in this in, in another world that I've got going. My own private sort of, what I'll call my exploration. Not really base building, not really doing anything, just literally just flying the ship around. You know, with a lot of power in it, a lot of uranium and some solar panels, and just flying around and seeing what there is. Just a discovery mission, basically, but it's not worth filming or looking at. It's mainly just leaving the computer running and just leaving it flying around and seeing what the spawn rules are, I suppose, is the thing. I've noticed sitting still does actually help with spawning things in. The longer you sit still, you go to... I think it was... I think it's your own personal, um, there's a little bar you can drop down and it shows, yeah, it's when you've got block ownership, that was it. See, transfer to nobody, that means there's no other NPCs within range of me. But yeah, you can use that as a rough guide to kind of roughly how many NPC ships are around you. I've seen as many as... I saw someone on... I can't remember who I was watching now, but they dropped it down. There was about 15 NPCs that they could have transferred to. It might have even been Milby on uh, Minecraft um, Space Engineers. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to do a little bit of off-camera mining. Then I'm going to jump back in. I'll put the cameras back on if anything happens, but it'll mainly be in the form of an edit, so momentary jump and I'll be back. Yeah, we really didn't, really didn't find much there. Starting to despair over the uh, magnesium situation. Wouldn't be so bad in a normal playthrough, but with the invader mod installed and the fighters active. Yeah, it could be a bit of a problem. Just gonna have to be, uh, yeah, ducking and diving, I think. Going from one asteroid to another and just sheltering until we can find one big enough to build in. And one with a nearby source of magnesium. On the road again. Yeah, don't do me, please, YouTube. I heard a story about some guy who was whistling and got done. Just, just whistled a little tune. Let me all see that over on the left there. Is that just an asteroid? Well. I didn't realise I was close I was to that then. I was fixated on uh, something over there on the left that was moving. We've not had a fighter alert yet. Although they only tend to 
you know that little red message that pops up incoming fighter that usually only pops up when it's actually locked on to you know it is incoming turn the backup reactors on power drain no more than about 50 Yeah, so planets and oxygen, eh, guys? The oxygen, yeah, I, I actually like the idea of that. I like the idea of having an area where... I ain't going to give a toss about taking my suit off. Yeah, just an area where I don't have to recharge. You know, I can do a prolonged build in a hangar and just be getting on with it and not have to worry about recharging. You know, just charge up to go outside. I wouldn't even give a toss if they actually made the, the suit an EVA thing so you put it on when you go outside. I not actually care. As long as I can uh, avoid constantly recharging every five minutes, building in a hangar that's like open to space, it's with no pressure section. That just seems a bit non non realistic to how I mean, they make a big thing out of it at the realism and you know the games like in, about immersion. Or yeah, sometimes it don't feel that way. It just feels like a building game. Go oh, away with your flipping meteors! Burst the speed just to throw them off. Yeah, we're not flying in any particular direction other than keeping the sun above us. I'm certain we're not going to crash. I might actually... I don't know, I might jump out and uh, put a few more solar panels on, actually. Where could we put those? Now, that means there's a fighter on the way. One has locked onto us. Yeah, there's a couple of places I could probably tuck a panel or two away. Maybe across the back end there. Maybe even sticking out on the side. I don't really have a particular preference for that. As long as it produces power, I don't care what it looks like. Where's the enemy? 3,500 meters and closing. Well, we ain't going to make the asteroid not that it'd help us anyway. Helps us out with meteors, but not with fighters. We need a proper defensive ring of turrets or something, and a good supply of ammunition, a good supply of iron. And preferably, we need to be inside an asteroid. That's just the way you have to play it with fighters and asteroids on. Is at three o'clock Yeah, I love it. I love just watching these things just dance about. I have to build myself a little fighter and go chase one down. Might be fun to get into a little dog fight with one of them. All in good time, eh? Got to find ourselves somewhere we can call home first. This is looking like a good candidate for hiding out at the very least.
Yeah, seriously, doesn't that asteroid back there look like a ship? Sometimes you get a bit lucky, you hit a sensor on these things, and or you hit a gyro, and you know they just can't track you anymore. A good kill is when you get the you get the reactor. Yeah, one particular Shrapian method is pick the line of approach and just kind of hold it and sooner or later he's going to fly through your stream of bullets at some point. Sun's directly above us, so we are moving at quite a speed actually. Didn't seem like it, but we are. 28, it's not major speed, but just taking a little trundle. Now, there's a reason for that. In the past, I've um, been going along at a high clip and I've jumped into a gun or started doing something and next thing I know spank you know we've crashed into something especially on the high density if you're not really if you don't plot your course properly or if you've got your view your view range down five kilometers is deadly I mean especially if you've got the speed mod on and you've speeded yourself up a fair bit You can end up hitting something without really realising you're about to. None of you can shoot straight. Right, no rum ration for you guys. If you don't bring that fighter down, that's it. I love that little... I think Marillibus uses it as his uh, part of his intro music. I love that little... Rock.
is he going to come back again? Sometimes you can take a few bits and bobs out, a few thrusters, and they just they just can't get the turn on you anymore. Something blinking next to that asteroid up there. Yeah, when we find the base, we're going to do a probably a complete 50 kilometer sphere around our base. We're going to explore every bit of it. And if there's anything there to be found, we will find it. Yeah, I think we winged that one. I think um, the way he's kind of just spinning about at the moment, I don't know if he will be back. You normally track in a bit closer than that. Once they've locked onto you, they'll stay within like maybe a couple of thousand meters, a couple of kilometers. This asteroid has some promise. Chewing through me bullets, but yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's like when I used to do some real shooting, like in real life shooting. I used to love the shooting, didn't love the cost of the ammo. It's like the Silverstone Raceway outside. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it here and um, just in time we'll look at it. We've got two fighters now. This is going to get kind of interesting. I had a situation in the last series where one of the fighters was green, and one of the fighters was red, and they were fighting each other. Uh, 
but there's definitely two fighters out there. Make sure I'm completely covered, shadow wise. Yeah, two invader Vader fighters, and neither of them is friendly. Cobalt, gold, no freaking magnesium. You know what? Never mind. We go to that one then. We just go like a grenadier. Yeah, we're just gonna go from cover to cover and keep looking for that elusive magnet. I might actually get out and use the hand drill. Because you know what, I'm kinda not trusting the the ore detector at times. I think it lies to me like cheap Japanese watch. <sighs> yeah, we're just gonna see how this plays out with the fighters. Come on then, you coming or not? Some of us have got jobs. The job happens to be kicking my ass.